é verdade. Yes, we shall. And be glad in it welcome. I need you to get in the chat right now. Let me know what city you represent. <laughs> right now. I love it. <laughs> yes. 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 Come on. Yes. And it sounds so fresh. Dig it. Welcome to Motivation Monday. I am your host, the love and life coach, Dale Lawrence. And that man right there is the people's bishop. Listen, absolutely. All day, every day, 24-7. Four, no, five times on Sunday. Huh? The tea is kicking like Listen. Bruce Lee today. Brother, <laughs> I believe they putting some in the air. Mm. In the sky, these sinus infections, I'm telling you, man, they get on my nerves. Well, listen, but thank we God. still, you're, you're healthy and you're healed. We still active. I receive. There you go. There you go. I receive, Bishop, in Jesus' name. Welcome, yep. everybody, to Motivation Monday. This is our weekly, weekly Monday night show, but monthly, I bring in my purpose partner, my brother from another mother, my bro cuz, none other than the People's Bishop, and we give it to you every first Monday flavor, tag team, back again. Back again. Bishop, Bishop, what's the word as we close out? This is the final first Monday of the month. We about to go into 24, man. What is the Lord saying? Let's go. Yeah, God saved the best for last. Jesus' very first recorded miracle in the New Testament, as we see him as Yeshua HaMashiach, right? His very first recorded miracle was turning water into wine. And what's interesting is with that miracle, um, I'll get to the best for last, but I just want to give a couple of pieces of revelation about the miracle. Um, Jesus wasn't ready to do it. In fact, he tells his mother, it's not my time yet. Right. But, it, but his mother, and here's where I want to go right out the gate. But his mother put a demand on him. Mm. And she told the servants, whatever he says, do, do it. Which means um, the rest of this year, December is going to give you what you demand. I'm, all, I'm done. I ain't got nothing else to say. I got to listen. Hey, December, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on, baby. No, yeah, I know you finished, but listen, we got to go back. Yeah. That word, demand. demand. Expectation. An expectation is a form of demand. That's good. Right. December is going to give you what you demand um, because Jesus literally told his mother for that miracle. He said, listen, woman, it's not my. T listen, that's what he called her. Woman. He's in front of all of his friends. Right. He's a woman. <laughs> it is not my time. Yeah. She looks at the servant and says, whatever he says, do do it. In other words, I'm demanding it. I will not leave this party until you do something about this wine. And for some of you, whoa, God, I feel like teaching already. Jesus. <laughs> You got to say that about your December. I am not leaving 2023 Ooh, Come on! until I have everything that this year owes me. Every dollar, every relationship, every ounce of peace, every ounce of joy. She put a demand on him, and I'm not leaving until I'm you do something it. about it. A demand. Listen, that demand yeah. is so strong. So strong. I, 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 remember, I remember Jacob wrestling with god mm -hmm. and, and i made a song out of it on my hope Dilla two album uh he said i'm not letting you go yeah until you bless me the power of a demand yeah. when you put a demand on god i feel like it does something in the spiritual realm uh it does something as far as moving God to do something, he originally had no plans of doing. Let, let's go. Let's go to Hezekiah. Prophet tells him, "Get your affairs in order. You are about to die." Hezekiah goes Sober. to the wall and puts a demand. Mm -hmm. Now, wait a minute, Bishop. Some would say, "Wait a minute. Once God say something, that's it." Nope. Once God, do Jesus talk no, to no, no. Mama, It ain't my time. No. God tells Hezekiah, get your affairs in order. Jesus doesn't answer. 
the woman who's begging him to heal her daughter, but yet the demand, the yes. persistence moves God in a way that makes him give you what you want. What say you, sir? Well, it's very simple. The Bible says without faith, it's impossible to please God, right? And so at the end of the day, faith requires a response from heaven. <clears throat> faith requires, I need a mic. <laughs> faith, you know, when I be preaching, I stab the mic. Faith requires a response from heaven, right? Without faith, it's impossible to please God. Hebrews 10 uh, talks about how uh, um, the just shall live by faith. He has no pleasure in those that draw back. In other words, God says, if you draw back now, I have no pleasure in you. He said, but if you in this year in a seat of demand Ooh. and expectation, I'm going to meet that demand and that expectation. And let me give you one more example of this too. God literally told Moses, Moses, I'm done with these people. I'm moving on. I want to do something else with you. Moses said, no, Lord, keep them, keep them. You know what the Bible says? The Lord, you ready for this? Relented. You know what that means to relent? It means God changed his mind mm. based on Moses' demand. Wow. So when we have this idea, well, you know, once the Lord says it's so, then it's so. Here's the reality. But faith is the faith is the faith is the game changer. My, and faith shows up through the form of a demand. It's the game changer. You know, you mentioned Hezekiah. The Bible says the moment Isaiah told him that, he began to repent. And do you know what happened? As Isaiah, who told him that, is walking out, God says, turn around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It didn't, look, wait, wait, wait. It didn't take a day. I want to shout. It didn't take a week. Woo! It didn't take a month. Come on, Bishop. It took a moment. Come on. Oh, Bishop. And for Bishop, somebody tonight, this it, Motivation Bishop. Monday is your moment. You, Come on, you, baby. We don't need that long. You just need, watch me. It was a moment. And that moment, as Isaiah was walking out of the king's court, the Lord said, turn around. Mm. Go back and tell him, I heard his cry. That fast? There wasn't no processing time. We didn't need to upload this. We didn't need a review. Nope. Because his repentance was his demand. For some of you, you what you need to pray now is, is, is God, what do I need to do to show you that I put a demand on the rest of this year? Wow. For some of you, it's going to be it's simply praying. For some of you, it's going to be forgiving somebody. For some mm -hmm. of you, it's going to be repenting. For some of you, it's going to be sowing. You watch every week and sow nothing. Therefore, heaven says we don't have a demand from you. Oh, I like, th those were the steps. Let's go over them again. Number one, what are prayer. the steps to putting a demand on God for the end of the year? Let's go. Prayer, prayer, number one, prayer. God, what do I need to do? Because the demand involves do, demand, demand. You got to be the man. <laughs> you got to you gotta have to take some action. Number two, repentance. What is repentance? It means changing my mind. I'm telling everybody, I can't wait for this year to be over. I got, I can't, I don't know. Come I on, got, come dude. on. Come no, on. you got, you got to take the mentality of there's look, more look, in look, this look, year. Look, I, I, listen, God, oh, God owes some of us something before this year is out. Come on. Come it's, on. It's, it's, it's personal for some of us. Listen, um, and then for some of you got to forgive somebody. Bible says if you don't forgive, check this out. If you don't forgive those of, uh, who have trespassed you, your, your father in heaven won't forgive you. So what does that mean in practicum? In practicum, this means that if you pray and you haven't forgiven someone, everything you said while you hadn't forgiven them, heaven never heard. I'll back it up and say it again. If you pray not having forgiven someone, everything you pray, heaven never heard. So for some of you, you're like, God, I'm praying, I'm praying, I'm praying, I'm praying, I'm praying, ain't nothing happening. Heaven is like, we never heard that. Ooh. We couldn't hear it because you wouldn't forgive your daddy. You wouldn't forgive your mama. You wouldn't forgive your cousin. You wouldn't forgive your, you. so because you wouldn't forgive them, we never heard that. Yeah. Because it wouldn't have taken, watch me, it wouldn't have taken this that long. Yeah, yeah. Right? Ooh. And then for some of you, it's real simple. You got to sow. You watch, you eat, you receive every week, but you never sow. Let me just be clear. The Bible says God gives seed to the sower. For what? So that you can produce your own harvest. Your seed is a demand. 
I'll back it up. Your seed is a demand. Your seed is a demand. Ooh. It's a demand on the ground to produce a harvest for me. When I release money, I'm putting a demand on more money. Ha! Man, look, look. I, this is so much revelation. I, man, I'm done. But when I when I release when I release words, I'm putting a demand on the atmosphere. Go change my world. Mm. My seed is in fact a demand. Bishop, come that's on. it. I, listen, yeah, that's yeah, yeah, the yeah, Monday. That's it. And on that note, I'm reminded of Solomon. Mm -hmm. Never go to God without something in your hand. Yes. Solomon goes to God prays for wisdom to guide his mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. but he goes with a seed correct thousand burnt offerings the bible says and within 24 hours matter of fact that night as he goes to sleep the lord visits him in a dream and says what do you want me to do women 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 i want you to think about it god visits him in his sleep yeah, you ready for this, and gives him a blank check. <laughs> oh my God, he says, my God. he says, whatever you ask me, and, and, and not only does he give him a blank check, his seed made God break protocol. What do I mean by that? It was never protocol for God to speak directly to the king. God went to the prophet to go to the king. Oh, now you're going deeper. His seed, and for some of you, and this is so simple, you think, oh, it's only $100, it's only $1,000. No, it's going to change your life. Go change your life. Because it's the faith behind it. It's not the money itself that's the yeah. issue. Right. It's the faith behind it that's, that's the it. issue. That's it. It's the faith to keep sowing even though tears are coming down your eyes. It's the faith to keep sowing even though you just got a bill in the mail. It's the faith to keep sowing, even though, and when you are consistent in that, heaven says, what do you want us to do for you? You Ooh. put a demand on us. The, chain, the check is blank. You mm. fill it out. That's it. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> That's it. Check. On, on, on that note, man, last motivation first Monday of the year. What, what are you hearing? What is the seed? Let's go. Uh, the seed is real simple. It's 31 for every single day this month. And I know that we're a few days in. I like that. 31 for every single day this month. A $31 seed. That's it. Bishop, if you mean $31 could change my life? Yep. Man, yep. come on. It's the faith behind it. it, it it's not the money itself. It's the faith behind it. And, you know, the Bible says, he who sows sparingly will reap sparingly. Yeah. He yeah. who sows bountifully will reap bountifully. Come and so, uh, literally... Literally, you're getting ready to see some amazing things happen before this year is out. Put a demand on this year. I, oh, my God. Man, so my, de my demand seed is officially in the ground. Yep. Officially in the ground, baby. There's the information right there on your screen. Everybody participate in this because God has promised us some stuff before the year is out. And my God, we go get it. We go get it if we believe and if we obey the man of God. You heard yeah. the word. This is how we do it, baby. He saved the best for last. And I believe in the next 27 days, God is going to make it happen in an amazing, extraordinary way. I just believe that. I yeah. believe that. Look, we finishing the year strong, y'all. Amazing. This <laughs> Sunday night, Clarksville, Tennessee, December 17th, no, I'm sorry. December 14th, before that, it's the Georgia Takeover because next year's Soul Times Conference will be in the ATL, hosted by none other than me and the People's Bishop. So, December, so December 10th, Clarksville, Tennessee, coming to you. December 14th, Athens, Georgia. December 17th, Jackson, Tennessee. And we're ending the year, December 28th, in Augusta, Georgia. It's going Georgia, down. Georgia. In a major way. It's the Georgia takeover, baby. All I the first it. quarter, we will be, the, the Soul Towns tour is going all throughout Georgia because we are getting ready for 2024 
Soul Ties Conference in Atlanta, Georgia. All roads lead to Atlanta. Listen, I need you in the house. I need you there. Listen, Tennessee, oh, it was amazing. You don't want to miss Atlanta. Those details will be coming to you real soon. Also, sign up for the Soul Society. 2024 is going to be amazing. It is my uh, special community, viral, virtual community of all of my soldiers all around the world. Each and every month, you are going to get a special, special message that will not be on Motivation Monday, will not be available to the public. And you will also get Zoom access once a month coaching with your boy, yours truly, the love and life coach. Sign up for the Soul Society. Information's bam, right there on the screen. Sign up for it. And until next week, same bad time, same bad channel, I will still be the love and life coach. And he will still be the people. I love it. We are Soul Time Motivation Monday. Motivate your week. Stay in faith, stay focused, and stay motivated. Holla!